Victorian People and Ideas, by Richard D. Altic is a compelling exploration of the intellectual and cultural landscape of the Victorian era. Altic delves deep into the lives, thoughts, and influences of the people who inhabited this fascinating period, providing a nuanced perspective on the ideas that shaped the time. The Victorian era, spanning from 1837 to 1901, was a time of profound social, political, and technological change in Britain. Altic's work sheds light on how these external changes were mirrored in the minds of the people, as their ideas evolved to address the challenges and opportunities of the age. He demonstrates how the Victorians were both products and architects of their society, intricately weaving their lives and thoughts into the fabric of their time. One of the central themes Altic explores is the tension between tradition and progress. The Victorians grappled with the legacy of the past and the promise of the future. In a world undergoing rapid industrialization, they sought to reconcile the traditional values of a pre-industrial society with the innovative spirit of the modern age. Altic provides examples of how this tension played out in literature, art, and religious thought, where writers and thinkers frequently engaged with these dichotomies. Altic delves into the literary world of the Victorians, highlighting the works of authors like Charles Dickens and George Eliot, who artfully captured the complexities of their society. These writers used their narratives to explore issues such as class struggle, urbanization, and moral dilemmas. Altic's analysis reveals that Victorian literature was not just entertainment but a mirror reflecting the social concerns and intellectual debates of the era. Religion, too, is a focal point in Altic's analysis. The Victorian period was marked by religious transformation, as traditional beliefs and institutions were challenged by scientific discoveries and new philosophical ideas. Altic underscores the clash between traditional Christianity and the emerging theories of Darwinism and biblical criticism. Through his exploration of this religious tension, Altic paints a vivid picture of a society in transition, wrestling with deeply held beliefs in the face of intellectual challenges. Altic's attention to individual lives and experiences is a notable strength of his work. He provides a glimpse into the personal struggles and triumphs of Victorian figures like John Stuart Mill and Charlotte Bronte, demonstrating how their lives were intimately connected to the broader intellectual and cultural milieu. By examining the experiences of these individuals, Altic humanizes the Victorian era, making it more relatable to contemporary readers. Furthermore, Altic's analysis extends to the visual arts, where he discusses the works of painters like William Holman Hunt and John Everett Millay, who were part of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. These artists rebelled against the conventions of their time, emphasizing a return to nature and a rejection of industrialization. Altic effectively illustrates how art was a medium for expressing the anxieties and aspirations of Victorian society. In Victorian People and Ideas, Altic does an excellent job of weaving together various aspects of Victorian culture and thought. His narrative skillfully interlaces literature, religion, and art, offering a comprehensive view of the era. However, some readers may find that Altic's emphasis on intellectual and cultural aspects at times overshadows the broader historical context of the Victorian era, including political and economic developments. In conclusion, Richard D. Altic's Victorian People and Ideas is a compelling exploration of the Victorian era, offering a rich tapestry of intellectual, cultural, and personal experiences of the time. Altic's work captures the dynamism of an age marked by the tension between tradition and progress, and it provides valuable insights into the lives and thoughts of the people who lived during this transformative period. It is a valuable resource for anyone interested in understanding the complex interplay of ideas and society in the Victorian era.